D4 and this I think was the first time we went to sleep and woke up at like a normal time so it took sort of four days to sort of catch up on things. I really feel like I'm in a travel video right now because the travel video, don't you think? The travel video is when you see someone sitting on a train and they've got like the background going and well they're, they're moving, they're, they're in the train. So we're in a train, we're actually heading out to Oxford University for the day. Actually just for the morning, we've got some massive plans for this evening which I won't tell you about until later on. We caught the, what time was it, the train? 8.20. 8.20. And the thing in London is if you, as a tourist, if you leave early, like you leave with all the travellers, it's really, it's crazy expensive. So this train ride, it's going to take an hour and when I say, oh we're going to, you know, it's like 130 quid. It's like 160 US dollars, which is like, I, it's a lot of money. If we traveled after 9.30, I think it would have been half, so that's all right. This is the kind of stuff that happens, but you just gotta roll with it. So um, we've got an hour, which is pretty good. It's nice to sit down and do nothing. All right, so who's ready for today's travel tip? So we are heading, as I mentioned, we're going to Oxford University, and we're actually gonna be doing a walking tour, Airbnb. Uh, which we talked about the other day in terms of staying local, staying in a local neighborhood, because they offer sort of tours run by regular people, be like a person who loves the area, who's a, maybe a student, maybe a historian, and they lead small groups. And it's super cheap, it's not ridiculous. I think this one is 20 pounds each, uh, two hours of walking tour of Oxford. Uh, we'll go through the university, we might even see some scenes where Harry Potter film was made. Um, it's, a, it's with a local, very small group, They're called experiences when you go on Airbnb, in addition to sort of the uh, lodging or places to stay, there's experiences and we've done it quite a few times in many of the cities we've gone to, but it's a super cool tip, super inexpensive and you get to sort of be with locals, but that's our tip for the day. And uh, we're going to be in Oxford in a few, well, you can see it's pretty cool scenery, it's just actually amazing. It's beautiful it's a bit cloudy but uh, we're not too worried about the weather so we'll see you when we get there all right this is me just looking off into the distance after. Chicken and fries, the safe choice. Chicken and fries, and we've got meat a meat pie and some sort of greeny salad y stuff. This is Paddington Station, this is one of my favourites, it looks amazing. Uh, this is a lot of these green trains, Great Western Railway, they go to sort of Greater London, outside of London. But it's a pretty amazing train station. So uh, we had a fun time in Oxford, I'll catch you up in a little bit. But right now we're going to head back to our flat and get ready for tonight's festivities. Right, we actually stopped at the bakery down the road and got another flourless chocolate cake, so it's delicious. So really quickly, we want to do like a little recap of our visit to Oxford because there was some definite highlights, there was definite, I'm not gonna call them lowlights, but there were sort of funny things, so what was your highlight? Highlights? 
No, I just love seeing the campus. I loved the, we took a tour with a guy that's like a local. We were the Oxford only people guy. on the tour. Yeah, it was us. And he was really good. I learned a lot about Oxford and I didn't know that it had like 39 colleges and just some of the history and tradition and all the famous people that have gone through Oxford. And it was really cool. It was really yeah. cool to see the grounds and the old buildings and it was really neat. And of course where Harry Potter was filmed. And yeah, yeah, we yeah, got to see really that. It was really good. It was, it was good. So in terms of like the opposite of highlights was the fact is we froze our asses off. We're from Chicago. We live in Chicago. We're not colders, but we were so flipping cold. The weather here is just really hard. You like read the forecast and it says, oh, it's going to be like 55. So I'm like, okay, I'll wear a sweater and a light jacket. And as soon as we stepped off the train in, in Oxford, I was like, oh crap, I made the wrong decision. Yeah. I have a nice warm jacket that was here all day um, while I froze on the tour. Like froze. My hands were so cold. So as soon as we finished the tour, we had lunch at a pub and warmed up, which was really nice. Yep, so like a, that was a, like a really, highlight. really old pub. Uh, but then when, and I got a sweatshirt. We went, we went shopping because we were cold. Warm, so I put a sweatshirt on over my, sweat, over my sweater and under my jacket. Then I also found a scarf. So I bought that to stay warm. And then I'm like, gosh, my hands are freezing. So we, so pulled, we, we got gloves, gloves as well. So, so now we are smart. We left gloves at home, but now we're prepared for other things we're doing outside. So yeah, yeah and I just, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to try to focus more on the feels like temperature than the real one. I don't know. It's just really hard here in London. If the sun is not shining, it is cold. It's cold. It's cold. Yep. And the other low light was finding out halfway through the tour that um, our tour guide, Tony, his wife has COVID. So if we get COVID, it's Tony's wife's fault. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Okay, fingers crossed we don't catch COVID. We made it and tonight's activity is to go to a stadium uh, and see something really, really cool. So when we're coming up to London, I really wanted to do, do a tour of Wembley Stadium. So Wembley Stadium is the biggest sort of sports stadium in, I guess, England and many would consider the world. Um, as a kid, I used to watch big games, you know, while on TV. I used to get up in the middle of the night to watch the big finals. And I wanted to do a tour of Wembley Stadium. When I checked online, I found out there's actually a game going on tonight and actually England is playing Ivory Coast. So uh, I'm shaking with excitement. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at. Uh, it should be a lot of fun.
So we're walking back. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, the game and, and being at Wembley Stadium, it's something that uh, was, was brilliant. Getting out of it was a bit of a nightmare, just obviously tens of thousands of people. Actually, the capacity, well, the crowd tonight was 74,000 yeah, people. 73,000 people. They 73. have to all walk down the same narrow road out. Yeah, so it was a bit of a challenge, but um, it was actually right. a guy, a security guy, that ended up playing Sweet Caroline on his megaphone. Everyone started singing. Actually, I videoed that, so you, you just saw that. So the cool thing is we walk back to our flat and, you know, through the neighborhood and there's convenience stores every couple hundred feet. So we popped into one and we, you know, we get some water and then we'll think, oh, we should have got some eggs. So we, we got some eggs and then we walk past another one and we end up picking some... Prosecco. Some Prosecco, because why not? And uh, yes, that's the end of day four. Another long day. Yeah, day four. Started in Oxford and uh, ended with a, with a really cool game of football at Wembley so Stadium. So fun, so much fun. So much fun. So uh, good night, another day tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to be action packed, so we'll uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.